Hey guys, so this is the boiling and melting points of giant covalent structures. So again, if you've not seen the metallic bonding video on belt boiling and melting points, watch that first, that's designed to be the first one, then come back and watch this afterwards. So just like all the other types of bonding, your answer to why giant, metal giant covalent structures have a very high boiling and melting point is just these four key skeleton answer points for you to address. So first of all, we need to talk about the type of structure that they form. Well, they form giant covalent structures. Sounds a bit obvious, giant covalent fins form giant covalent structures, but you usually get a mark for saying that, so worth saying. And then we come to the big question, what holds these together? Well, covalent bonds is the answer. So what is a covalent bond? If I have a nucleus of one atom, that will have a positive charge. It won't, it won't be plus one unless it's hydrogen, but it will be some positive charge. If I have another nucleus, that will also have a positive charge. And when these make a covalent bond, a covalent bond, and this is a definition you need to remember, is a shared pair of electrons. So one electron from this, and one electron from that. They're shared in between them. So you might be saying, if each of these nuclei, each of these atoms, have a positive charge, how can a covalent bond attract them? How can it hold them together? Because like charges repel. And it's because of this shared pair of electrons. This positive nucleus is attracted to these electrons in the middle, this shared pair. But so is this nucleus. So even though they've both got a positive charge, they're being attracted to the same point, the shared pair in the middle. So that's what a covalent bond is, and that's what holds these together. So what holds them together? A shared pair of electrons. And you might want to put in brackets there, just to show the examiner you know what that represents, a covalent bond. How strong are covalent bonds? Covalent bonds are rock hard. They're almost as hard as me. Proper, proper tough stuff. Very, very strong. That's why this boiling point is so high. So how strong are they? Uh, these forces, or these covalent bonds, are very strong. They're pretty much the strongest type of thing you can get. So if they're strong, how much energy are they going to take to break? Well, the stronger they are, the more energy it will take to break. So therefore, require a lot of energy to break. And that's it, basically. The three elements which can make giant covalent structures. My name is Brady Christopher. Smith. And the three elements which can make giant covalent structures are boron, carbon, and silicon. So if you just have boron on its own, giant covalent. Just carbon on its own, giant covalent. Just silicon, giant covalent. Also, there's another one, which is silicon oxide. That's just an extra thing to remember. That can also make giant covalent structures too. So definitely worth remembering that as well. And that's it.